guys, I'm actually dying. Like, who did I tell to shut up? I don't even remember doing that. I also don't say shut up. Like, anyways, back to the video. <sighs> Good morning guys. Today I'm trying out a 5 a.m. morning routine. I have to say I'm weirdly widely awake. Snooze my alarm until like 5.15 and I have more energy right now than I would at like 7. I'm confused. I have a Pilates class in like 40 minutes and I'm making Macy go with me because well, I just am. I'm obviously starting by eye rolling my face. Hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. If you guys like it and you're new here, subscribe. This ice roller is very necessary. Normally, I would just put on a moisturizer that I don't love as much because I don't want to use like my favorite skincare and run out really fast. What do you guys do for skincare for working out? If you work out like in the morning, right when you wake up. But since I look kind of crazy due to my face being so pale and my body being tan, I am gonna put on my tinted sunscreen. Will I see the sun this morning? Probably not, no. I have Glow Screen, my favorite product ever, in Golden Hour. And it gives me like a little bit of a tan, and I feel like I'll look a little girl less crazy. Hopefully that helped. I have like eyeliner on underneath, and I just like cannot. Get it off my eyes. Okay, time to get ready for Pilates. Okay, so for my actual set, I'm gonna wear this Year of Ours set. I think this is the football legging. Year of Ours sets are like literally my favorite. The quality is incredible. They're always the most flattering. I just like, I love them. Long sleeve skims top. Cute. My Uggs, one sec. Ugg minis, of course. And then I'm gonna wear my scarf because weirdly it's like not that cold this week but I still want like some sort of warm. The scarf is from the Okine. I'm cute and like bumped it up. All right, my fan is going crazy but here is a better view. I am so cozy. I'm honestly terrifying myself at how I'm literally wide awake right now. I do have my daily stoic and journaling to do but I'm gonna do that after Pilates. Cause I don't even think I am thinking right now, you know? Packing up my bag, lip balm, and I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually loving this. The hard part is the initial wake up um, and the fact that, you know, Macy and I, her friendship's not gonna last through this morning. But I found us energy drinks, which I try to not drink that much, but I figured that once I'm in hot Pilates, I'm gonna need it. I also just like keep packing my bags of things that I know I will need. I'm being more prepared than I've ever been in my life. I think I'll probably go to like a juice place after and get coffee. I wish we can go to Tribal, but Tribal's far out of the way. It's so good. Guys, this is why people do it. See, I feel like I could do it like a couple days a week or like a couple times and I would love it. And then over time I'd either be exhausted or I would love it even more. I feel like I would love it even more. This is gonna be the true test on if Macy and I stay friends. Here she is. She is not happy with me. I'm getting nervous. How are you feeling? This feels like a fever dream. The fact that it's about to be hot in this room. Oh, I forgot my water. I did get you a gift though. Thank you so much, actually. I think that will help you. Oh, well. So the fact that the, it's so early that the Christmas lights are still up, you know? What are you expecting from this class? Like core power? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna lay down a lot of it. Like if they're like, oh, if you're tired, take a break. I'm gonna be I don't know if I say that. I'm, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I will be taking breaks. This is like cute over here. Yeah, it is cute. Early. Okay, North Pole. <laughs> like. I haven't even noticed this. There's a good juice place around the corner though. Oh. I normally go to the back for like, I'm not putting it in the class. But today, I look asleep. I don't know why I have so much energy. I woke up and I was like, okay. I didn't sleep last night out of anxiety though for waking up so early. So I get that. It's like adrenaline right now. Yeah. Okay. Look, it be something. Do you guys want to 
my motivating quote? Is it ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's my wallpaper. Well, bye, you the gap between the life you want and the life you are living is called consistency, focus, and mindset. Wow. Did that get me up this morning? Yeah. I love that. Thank you. But that was really good in all aspects. That's so beautiful. Thank you. Love it's that. Like a little like wake up, like, like get how out of bed. You, how are you feeling after that workout? Good. You finished work at my 7 a.m. Um, I did half pass it, but I went. Who cares? You went. And you like the whole quote's like, the only bad workout is the one you didn't do. Yeah, that's so true. Amen. So really good. We're going to go get juice. Oh my gosh, it feels way better outside. She's a lot sweatier than I am because she like really did the workout. Like Also, it was, okay, we're like in the workout and there's a- Oh my a gosh, I, I hope you got that on camera. I was just dumping my energy drink out on me. Oh, I'm glad. Um, I spill everything. There was a part of the workout where they're like, you can move up to like the mat, like go wherever you want. And I look, and there's one in the front row next to me, which is actually my mat. I was just in oh, the corner. Oh, that's saying. Yeah, and I look back at you and you're like looking the other way. <laughs> I zoned out a lot. Oh, it was good though. It was a good workout. I'm okay. Honest, like review. I think the music was a little loud at times for like uh -huh. that early. Yeah, I get that. No, but, no, but I was fine. But like, there's sometimes where I was just like, hmm. too much right now. But See, okay, I'm the opposite. Good. I need it as loud as possible, or else I'm not gonna be awake. Or else you're gonna be thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna be thinking about it. Okay. I will say though, I just get overstimulated. Whenever I took the 6 a.m. classes, they go by so much faster than the other classes. Yeah, I don't really know if it's because like I'm not awake or what. Just faster. Sorry guys, we were talking like most people don't oh, have these views. This is gym. Should we go there? Uh, I don't know. Should we should we do a second workout? It looks like I like blanked on a two a day and blanked on the name. Like Clean juice. It's really good. I think Tim Tebow like owns this or something. He, there's like a huge mural of him everywhere. There's like five versus five. Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, I have to be honest, this has been incredible. And I'm gonna give you my one life tip that I have. Well, actually, I am a morning person and I'm a morning routine girl, as we know. Okay, finishing up my skincare. Here's what I use, I'll have everything linked. This Sonia Descartes Super Clear Serum is a game changer with breakouts. I was using it for a few weeks, completely cleared out my skin, it ran out of it, started breaking out again, and I just started using it again two days ago, and I can see the difference already. Like, it is next level. Summer Fridays, Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. This stuff is amazing. I've never had an oil that I love so much for my face. I use the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Moisturizer, love this stuff, it's really lightweight. I just feel like it actually gets the job done. And then of course, my all-time holy grail, Glow Screen Golden Hour Sunscreen. I love this stuff, it is my miracle product, obsessed. Gives you a nice little glow, blurs out your skin a little bit. And I just love it, gives me a little bit of color. Might spray my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm not really sure what this does, but I like it. Love. I have like red marks on my forehead. I don't know what's going on there. I have a few new products I want to try this morning and just see how I like them. Um, update, it's eight. I've already finished my workout and have my breakfast and I just feel, and showered. And I'm pretty much almost ready. I feel amazing. So I'm getting ready. I really don't want to wear like much makeup, but I do want to try this foundation. This is the foundation that my makeup artist uses on me, Kristen Farah. If y'all are in Dallas, like, she's literally the best makeup artist ever. But, like, I don't want to, like, get ready fully. It's in the 70s this week, which I'm really confused about because it was, like, 40 last week. Um, and it's dropping again, I think, this weekend. I hate the heat anyways, but I hate when it's warm in the holiday season. Like, I am not the girl who wants... LA weather during the holiday season like I don't want it in Florida or wherever it's sunny and hot like you will never catch me doing like a beach vacation for for Christmas it like needs to be cold that's literally the law anyways this is the NARS light reflecting foundation and obviously I love the way Kristen does my makeup like it is just amazing so I went to her Instagram post that she shares where she shares what product she's using on me and I bought every product that I don't have um, but obviously I'm not doing a full face I will say I really like this I feel like it's perfect I don't even know what to wear in this weather like and I'm honestly just in a much better mood when it's cold like when it's hot I'm just like not that pleasant you know lipstick the best always going in with the Kosas blur powder 
This powder is the best powder ever. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Wow, the difference between my, the sides of my face right now. I really like how warm this is. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna do makeup? Dior blush, still my favorite blush. I really like a lot of blush because I like a lot of color in my face, you know? I have this Laura Mercier highlighter. Guys, I just did it again. I stabbed my eye. I did it. You can see the mascara underneath. Last time I did this with my mascara wand, I had a corneal abrasion. I don't think it's that bad, but it's definitely like not great. Oh my God. <laughs> I also still don't know. Oh, now I'm just gonna hit myself. I'm done. I'm literally done with myself. Honestly, like part of me wants to just wear, oh, my eyes watering. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Part of me wants to just wear an oversized sweater with a skirt actually gone in a completely different direction i have this year of ours set which i don't always like love how these fit and i'm also not wearing the right underwear with it like literally at all who am i but i don't think it's gonna matter because i think i'm gonna wear this sweater from free people over it and this sweater i got in way too big of a size i love these sweaters like if you're gonna invest in any cozy sweater this is it i'll link it below dom and i got them in college and we both got like two or three different colors and we both still have them like after how many closet cleanouts but is this gonna look uh, like this is the look it's just cozy like I'm not gonna say it's the cutest outfit ever but you guys have to understand like what I'm going through today so this will be it and then obviously my puff bag because I turn my headphones and stuff in and it's just the best bag ever and I carry literally everything in it this isn't my best outfit ever, I'm gonna be honest with you. And this is just too big, like even with these shorts underneath. I move the socks down a little bit, as if that like makes a difference. And honestly, this is the outfit, it's cozy. It's just like going to the mall. I'm gonna do some Christmas shopping today, which will be in the next vlog. Moving on to my morning journaling and reading. This is like the one thing besides working out that really just sets my day apart. Doing morning pages, it helps me so much. If y'all are new here, I'll say it very quickly because I say it all the time. Morning Pages is a journaling exercise by Julia Cameron where you wake up. Uh, normally, you would do it right when you wake up, but sometimes I wake up way too early and my brain's not even on, so I wait until I'm like ready or like after my workout or whatever. Normally, I work out at like seven or nine, so I'll do it before. You open your journal and you write for three pages straight, pen to paper. You don't take your pen off the paper and you just keep writing and you get everything out of your head. It could be about literally anything. There'll be things that come to your mind that you won't even think about. Things that you didn't even realize are bothering you are bothering you. It is like the best form of therapy. It's things that like, honestly, things come out in here and I bring it out to my therapist, okay? It's very good. Um, it helps so much with anxiety. It's the best thing ever. So I'm gonna do my morning pages and then we're gonna do, I'm gonna read the Daily book. Now I flip to December 6th, the Daily Stoic. I will read you the quote, okay? Don't behave as if you are destined to live forever. What's faded hangs over you as long as you live and while you can, become good now. All right, guys, that is it for trying my 5 a.m. morning routine. I'll give you guys my review. Thanks for asking. Like, it is 8.52, and I feel like I've done my entire full morning routine. Like, reading, journaling, getting ready, working out, showering, all of that stuff. I feel like I, got, I had my breakfast, and I'm, like, ready to go at 9. I could be in the office by 9. Like if I was going to an office, you guys, like, you know what I mean, this is my office. Anyways, and it feels incredible. Really, I think what it's gonna come down to is like later in the day when I feel exhausted, exhausted, or like not feeling like I could have a social life at night. That's really, I feel like when I was more extreme with my 5 a.m. morning routines, I lost a lot of other things in my life, but I felt incredible every single morning. So it just depends, you know? I'm more of like a 6 a.m. girl. I will say I feel amazing. I'm so glad I did it. Also, <gasps> Like, look at how handsome he looks right now. Like, he literally looks perfect. You guys made it this far. Comment fits in all caps. Would I make it my everyday routine? I don't know. Not right now because it's, like, the holiday season. But I do feel amazing. I, I think I'm going to need to try it for, like, a week and see. Maybe I'll do that in January. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I need to get some work done. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And I will talk to you guys soon.